right, welcome on back to the We All Playcast sub server. I'm going to mark today's date as the seventh month, 11th day, year of 2023, which is also known as da 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 Tuesday. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's July 11th, 2023, and I kind of wanted to mark today's date um, just as a progression check of like kind of what's happening or what has happened um first i'm gonna start with my base because you know that's always a good one to start with i'm actually gonna jump inside the house and jump on free cam to kind of like look around and stuff i wanted to do it with shaders because you know shaders always look nice all right so starting off we always have the barn over here um haven't done too much there's a bunch of sheep in here but they don't render because i'm far enough away that they won't so that's nice uh, so yeah, they won't eat up all the grass and all that. Uh, so the barn, I honestly rather enjoyed making the build and I think it looks very nice. It's very simple yet very compact. Um, it's not like it really holds too much, but at least it's aesthetically pleasing from the outside. Uh, we just have these cute little coops and stuff. I'm not really going to go over that too much. Uh, another portal. I do need to fix up this area. I have not done anything cool with it yet. I'm thinking maybe something to do with like an archway above it or something like that i'm not sure uh then we have our pathways with our sign you know little home and farm i don't think i've expanded the farm path i might till it with a shovel make it more farmy <laughs> farmy <laughs> i don't think that's a word we got the potatoes the beetroots the melons all that beautifulness and a little dirt mud farm here um it's pretty cool. I didn't build it. Uh, but yeah, it works pretty well. So I don't really know the fundamentals. I know that it like fills up with water bottles and then it hydrates the dirt and then you just break it and place it, I think. I don't know. Um, more signs. We have the bamboo farm. The bamboo farm is quite uh, somewhat efficient. That might be full. I don't know. I haven't checked it in a while. But... Honestly, I like the little wall I did with the moss on it. It does give it a little bit more depth and more feel rather than just a base minecart with a bunch of things because then you see this grow and then it breaks. Uh, this back here is a little dirty, not going to lie. Um, not very aesthetically pleasing, but we'll find a build for this where I can like farm it and all that kind of stuff. Chorus fruit, another wart, and then another automatic bamboo farm that's super fast. A uh, little furnace that... All right, now to get to the real bread and butter. All right, the little fountain. Nice, not bad. It is becoming nighttime, so let me go ahead and sleep real quick. Because I, I, I kind of want to show it off during the daytime. All right, we bump back outside. All right, so with the fountain, which is right next to a wall, which I still haven't finished the path, so, and also the stairway. So that's another thing on my to-do list. Um... We, of course, have Skeleton, uh, unknown species, but he is very angry about that light. I don't know why. It was a fun build. Honestly, I'd build him again on other servers, or more of them, if anything. I might make another one somewhere, like, coming out of the water, or behind the other one, like, grabbing on the back of his head or something like that, out of a different material. Uh, the lighthouse, I love the base. I haven't done anything, like, at all with it which I can't really get in there. Oh, there's a hole. I can get in there. Uh, yeah, it's not much at all. There's just a random cherry tree in here, bamboo flooring, and that's it. <laughs> you can't even get inside it right now. So yeah, that's going to be worked on. Uh, not be... Okay. Yeah. Anyway, back to this. we got a little bit of cherry forest that you walk through. A very nice and... I love the little leaves that fall down. Very beautiful to watch. Um, next, we have our little pond. The lily pads and our little glowing lights. Very nice. Very nice. Nice place to fish if you want to. Our iron farm, which is not aesthetically pleasing. I'll fix that up. So probably in the next server, I want to do more aesthetically pleasing farms. Like I'll either hide this inside of a cool build like the lighthouse. Eh, eh. I might just move this to the lighthouse, to be honest. I don't know. I'll think about that. Uh, we have a wheat field, which could use a little bit more 
like scarecrows or something. And I bet you it wouldn't be too hard to put like an armor stand in there or something. Uh, we have the villager trading hall. Oh, I love this build. It's so beautiful. I do need to get more villagers. Maybe. I don't know. We haven't really filled it and I don't really plan on filling it. Yeah. On the bright side, it looks pretty good. Still got a few bushes missing, but I don't think that's really necessary to get. And over here is probably. Yeah. I think it looks wonderful. Oh. And then we have the pier. Le pier. Uh, nice place to sit if you're wanting to eat and look at the ocean. Maybe someone will come in and you're waiting for them. Because they'll dock right down here and then they'll come up this nice little path. And then you can either go bulk to Gusto's. Which I haven't finished this path, apparently. Um, that's going to be... Also, it looks like the door's been opened. Someone's been in here. Oh, we have the hungry guest. Probably checking out the place. Honestly, it is very beautiful. I love this build and everything. We have the kitchen, the office in here, which could use a little bit more love. Uh, but keep going. Cooking room, pantry, which the stuffs aren't rendering because I'm not close enough. And then the back alley, which I'm proud of. The little trash bag here. The dumpster, the little ladder. It's like almost a perfect representation of Gusto's. And then we have this random room. And the inside, which we haven't done anything with. We'll fill it. Trust me, we'll fill it. If anything. Um, yeah. I think that pretty much concludes it for my base. I mean, yeah, Gusto's restaurant is kind of my, well, our little point of interest for this base. I think we can head into the nether now um, and kind of show off what all has happened in there, what is going to be happening in there, and all that. So, one second as we go through the nether portal. I have to turn around because... I don't. I always go facing toward the wall. Ah, yes. I love that little aesthetic light poking up. Hmm. So we have finished the tunnel. But yes, we have the nether hallway. This was another fun build. Honestly, the roof was kind of a, a pain in the butt. That, but it does look pretty good. I like it. Um, do need to work on doorways and stuff to get out. Like the end one needs one. Which I'll probably work on that here next as my next project. Because they just finished their major project. Which I'm also going to free cam out here. Uh, hopefully there's enough render distance. Here it is. This is what they've been working on for the last couple of days. I'm right there, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Because I didn't want to go out in here and have to worry about a gas or anything. But yeah, no, I cleared out kind of most of the top of this. And then someone else filled in the rest, or cleared out the rest of it because, well, I was busy doing things that day. And it looks like they got this one done, this one done, and they're about done on this one. I don't know if anyone's actually in here working on it. I know I saw QB. QB? Yeah, QB working on it. Maybe Snow Leopard was also. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a fun build. I love the different colored beacons. It made it actually quite easier to cut this out because you know what color beacon you had. It's like, oh, just mine around this. We still have the nether little tunnels and stuff. So yeah, spawn will be looking awesome here before too long. All right. And there's only a few more things I really want to show off. Um, I don't know about other people's bases. I'll have to ask about them if they want them made into a video or not. Uh, the trading hall. So... If you don't know, the We All Play Cast subserver is based off the We All Play Cast uh, Twitch. And if you subscribe to their channel, you get access to the server and you can play with them when they're online or you can play anytime you want, kind of thing. It's just an always running server. And this is one of the projects they have recorded building for Twitch, so it's somewhere in their VODs. So if you really want to go in and see how they made it, all that kind of cool stuff, um, yeah, you can come in here and see that. Also, there's a book down here, which I think you can read it if you want. Um, 
there was a thing. There's a a video on how to cure the villagers. You just like flip the lever. Uh, you definitely don't want to set it to kill. Uh, zombie breeder. Zombie. No, that's not a zombie breeder. That's a villager breeder. Jeez. Um, yeah. So you get all the villagers. Nice little build. I'm just gonna pop around real quick. There's not really too much to see above. Though it does look quite nice, actually. That's a good angle. That's a really good angle for it. There you go. Let me take a little picture of it. Really like that. We got this side, which is not bad. Ah, so that's what's up in here. I didn't actually see all this part be built. So they have the village of breeder section. I assume the redstone does that. The beds. Yeah, that's a pretty simple one. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Um, I'm not too certain on what else they've really built other than their base and a drown farm. Looks like they have cherry trees and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to poke around their base too much. Because, well, it's not my base. And also, I kind of didn't ask. But I'm sure they'll be fine with it. Because they've, well, they've, uh, they've made videos on it. So, as long as I don't break any. Oh my gosh, the beauty of the reflections in the floor. Wow. Uh, this is kind of why I wanted to do this with shaders. Because... Holy smokes, with the light like reflecting off of things makes this look so good. Oh, so they have a little cactus farm in here, a little workbench, a little trees chest, a block chest. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So I assume this tells them when it's full of all kinds of stuff. Um, hope there's no like little traps in here that will take me out if I get too close to some super smelter. Very gorgeous, very gorgeous build. Okay. Let's go ahead and head out of the here real quick. Uh, I'll say it again. I love the reflections on the floor and the light and all that. Makes it all pretty. Um, For the... I don't think there's really anything over here. But there is this thing. I have no idea what it actually is. It appears to be a work in progress build. I think they wanted to build the drown farm before they did anything else, or this is just a cap to the mountain. Oh. Oh, it goes down into their thing. Okay, cool. So this might be their main base. Okay. And that's just their storage. Alright, then if I fly over here, we can see the drown farm. In all its glory. Now, I'm kind of worried about the drown farm. Um, not so much for, like, if it breaks or something like that, but more that if you stand in the water, what if a baby zombie with a triton hits you? Yeah. 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 So this thing works pretty good. I'm going to stand actually back here and hide behind this because I don't want to get hit by a triton and, like, die or something. Yeah. This thing works very well. Oh, yeah. The water doesn't render in the spectator. So what you can see here is the zombies. So this thing is full of water. It's not actually filled, filled. It's flowing water down, but the top part's filled. It's also got a little cap on it. But they'll spawn in the darkness. They'll fall down because they'll just idle. They'll fall out of the water. They'll see a little uh, turtle egg. They'll fall into the pit. And then in the pit, it's more or less a kill box. Where you just take this. Just... Maybe I'll get a trident. Maybe, be... Maybe I'll get that lucky. No, I don't think so. I think if you, turn... if you step in the water, they aggro towards you. And that's the whole reason the water is there. Also, it's 9-10 now. So, let's maybe head back. Oh, wait. One more hit. A couple more hits, actually. The problem is, is they keep spawning so quickly that I want to keep hitting them. I'm scared. I'm going to see one with the trident. I will want to go back. Okay. And their portal thing was off over here. It's behind it. It's very complicated and confusing. I got lost the first time I was back here. I didn't actually use the pathway to get there first time I flew there like I did. Um, I almost want to check out, I think this is Shy Guys? This might be Shy Guys. Let me just poke in real quick. Oh, this was the staircase I was mining up around. Was it? I don't know. Nice path though. I'm not actually going to explore it too much. I'll figure that out. Um. 
what I might do, honestly, is do separate recorded videos for oh, reflection for each person's base if they want it. So we can get down to the real parts of it and take a look at it. Yeah. I bet you these are full of stuff. Pretty much. Wow. Uh Yes, I'm in the nether. But I think I'm about to wrap up the episode here. Um, I guess all I have left, I'll show is spawn. And yeah, the little donation wall that they had for one day. I'm gonna play catch really quick like. Uh, well, maybe. But yeah. Well, here's spawn, and this is, will conclude the server tour for today. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. I like checking out all this stuff and all the things they did and built and made. Maybe we'll just go see what he wants to do with catch. I don't know where, where they're wanting to play catch at. Um, I'm moving my work from top to bottom of the beacon, but going to bust the chest on the floor if everything falls straight down. Oh. some blocks on the ground here all right well i guess i'll help snowy out here and i'll wrap up the episode thank you all for watching i hope you had a wonderful time and i hope to see many more builds and it's raining blocks oh yep cool um, yeah thanks for watching see you all bye